Everybody's been asking me about it, so I'm gonna finally do it. This is Zion's room, my son's room. That's a blanket that I had custom printed. I hung it on the door so I could show you guys. See, it's a blanket. Very nice quality and all. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's a 250R. Uh, just entering his room. First thing and foremost, this will catch your attention. Boom. We have a huge, nice, beautiful carpet that I also had customly made. It's a five by eight. It's very big. Just a quick peep around and I'll go over everything. Sorry the freaking lighting isn't the best, but uh, I'll get it the best I can. So yeah, this is a lot of goodies I have in this room. All right, so as you see, you enter the door, right above the door, we have a nice Honda sign. To the right of it, we have a couple guys racing on some vintage CRs. Um, da -da -da -da. So we're coming across. We have some chicks on a poster with a 96 CR 250. We have a couple of die casts, different sizes. Little Chevy truck holding a CR in the back. We have vintage manuals, as you see them in the background. This is an 84, there's an 83. Um, also, this 82 one was up there, but I had took it down just for a second. Because I want to come across a couple of things one day like this. Some of the Honda line stuff, the stuff they used to race with, the old helmets and stuff. It's very nice. The old manuals and whatnot. But yeah, that goes back up there. Um, going top down, we have a tiny TRX, 400EX, TRX 450R, a couple more 400EXs, the small 132 uh, die cast. Some dust runners, those are vintage. As you see, the box condition is very nice. Those haven't been made in many, many years. A lot of guys try to come across them. I threw these in there just cause. They're also vintage, the Banshee. My wife found that beautiful uh, enduro bike. I'm still not sure what it is at a garage sale. I have this nice die cast, some sort of Suzuki, similar to a quad racer. We have a nice poster right over his changing table. Um, we have a Tri-Z. Here, tri -Z there. Team, Cowie, Honda, and tri -Z, I mean, Yamaha Racing. Yep, yep. Nice, beautiful Honda Racing Company flag hanging. Um, We have a 250R right above the window. Nice, big 250R clock that matches everything else right here. As you see the poster, it's very huge. Um, I also had that printed out. I took the picture from Google, I believe. Uh, another dust runner. By the way, all three boxes have dust runners that are working with the original manuals and whatnot. This is also, a, I'm not sure exactly what brand, but it's similar to a dust runner. I like it because it's the Chrome edition. And I, uh, I have a manual back there. Um, nice little sign back there. Couple guys racing. Um, 83 and 84, 250R manuals. Couple more manuals back there for different bikes. Uh, and as you see, his huge collection of these dust runners. Very nice condition. Just gotta go over there and clean them up again. We have like seven up top. This special one, eight, nine, ten. So that's eleven. Yeah, eleven of those. And I have like two more that I haven't got to yet. I gotta clean them up, put them in there. Um, as we keep coming across, thinking about putting another flag there, maybe just a Honda symbol. On this wall, right above his uh his little bed, we have the huge Honda Racing Company banner. And uh, we have over here a couple of CRs that people did, Supermoto, which I like. CR 500 right here. And then Justin Barcia, he signed this poster. Shout out for that. A little while back, a couple of photos of us as a family. Him with a Cowie. <laughs> My wife on the 200X. Me and Zion on a, the KXT. A couple of pictures I took of the nicest tracks that I liked that always caught my eyes. We got flat track in there. Um, one day I'm gonna mock these and do it for me and my son down the road. Travis made that beautiful trike. Everyone's jealous about that, including myself. Um, we have this poster that you can get. This poster isn't custom. A lot of people can get them from eBay and whatnot. Right above his closet, 
we have a Honda Bander banner. And then last but not least, we have these guys racing again. I believe Rick Johnson and I forgot the other. Um, but yeah, that's his room. On his bed, we also have some nice signs. This is a rust looking sign. It's not actually rust. Um, then we have another one here. And uh, yeah, so this is my son Zion's room and his huge carpet <laughs> of 86250R. It's very nice quality. You can see word for word, letter for letter. It's not all blurberish and ugly. Uh, oh, this right here. I meant to show you guys this. We have this on a rocking chair. Same photo you guys see here of the best three companies racing against each other. Well, I want to say best three because you also have Tiger out there and the other ones. But uh, for the ones we all know, the most popular. So, yeah, it's it's a very big blanket. We just folded it up to fit the chair for now. But, uh, yeah, this is my son's room. Hope you guys enjoy it and like it. One last look of everything. Do -do -do -do. Sorry for the lighting once again. I'm still missing a few pieces. Eventually I get it all there, but everybody kept bugging me and my mom was like, you just need to make a video and post it. So uh, this is it here. And just to show you guys to show off really quick. I'm gonna show you guys how to use tools. As you see the box, very nice condition. A lot of people say it's just a box, but it's more than that to me. Here we go, the instruction book and everything. It's all there, no torn pages or nothing like that. It's not cracked up or anything. We have the charger, we have the track itself, and the nice controllers. Um, so yeah, that's that. One thing I am missing in this one is the little foam bar that goes across. Uh, and of course the battery, the battery wouldn't be no good from that many years. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Get that off of there, that's trash. So, yep, this is my son Zion's room. He wouldn't know much right now because he's not even a year old yet. But I know if he sees it now, he'll love it and catch on to it. Plus, he has a lot to look at. He always looking around when I bring him into his room. So thank y'all for watching this. Hope y'all like it, share it. This is my son's room, and uh, yeah.